a little something, do a little something, something now. Got now your shit'll be up 133%, 292%, But Like I said, I feel like a dumbass, but I should've put a mid. I should listen. I literally had an M sitting to the side to drop in that bitch and I was acting scary as hell. Listen, I'm never the scary nigga. I, I just was like, damn, I don't want to lose this whole million if goddamn this bitch sink. But I should have known. I studied the charts. That shit was going to go up five times, man. I'm dumb as hell, man. That's my fault, though. I never make that mistake again in my life. Nigga, the only work I'm finna do is work on this EP I'm finna put out. Man, I, listen, I recorded a whole EP. Nigga, I recorded a whole EP last week, and I still did 80 other things. That shit ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? I don't got to record 12 hours a day, nigga. I do this shit in my sleep. That's why, if you listen to the music, I'm putting you on the newest restaurants. Nigga still talking about no who, no we at the Masuhisa, you know what I'm saying? That's his other shit. That's his more expensive shit. We putting you on all the new jewelry, nigga, all the baguettes and all the emeralds and all that extra shit, all the rose gold, white gold, all that type of shit, all the new wilts, nigga. We want the electric Lamborghinis. We want the electric Escalade. You know what I'm saying? Just all the new drip, man. My shit gonna have all the new drip, man. All that extra shit, man. We ain't doing that, man. We don't really care what else going on. Like around me, we don't care what no other nigga got going on, man. Cause that shit ain't on what we on. You know what I'm saying? That petty thinking, man. We ain't trying to have no petty thinking over here, man. Like I said, we going to the moon, man. You gotta, this is how you gotta think. Like right now, today, I'm finna go to the moon. So when you go to sleep and wake up, you wake up on 10. You know what I'm saying? Keep dropping albums like this. Man, I stay dropping albums like this. Red albums like this. Three times a charm, though. This third album this year. Once I drop that third album, niggas catch on. Black Circle, Black Circle 2, Black Circle Friday. 24 hours, 6 hours, 6 hours, 2. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes y'all just be a little late catching on. I'm always on the new sauce, though. I'm on the new guns. Yeah, niggas still out here talking about Drake's. We on Blackouts. We on ARP, 5-inch barrel, 7.5-inch barrel, 16 inches. You know what I'm saying? We on the latest. We on. We got exotic guns for real. Custom made guns, built like sharks, nigga. That shit look like it came out of COD. In real life, binary triggers. You know what I'm saying? And our binary shoot like they blends on them. Our binary shoot like they literally blends. When you go to my page and you look at how how my binary shoot, I double tap them or I go all the way through with it. You get what I'm saying? I just double tap so niggas will know. So them boys won't be on my page. Like, I got a full button on that bitch, but nigga, y'all just now catching up. Y'all will go back and see the other shit later. That's why I dropped this year. What I do, I drop um, Catch Me If You Can, Red Eye, this one right here. You get what I'm saying? Niggas catch up late. I just think so far ahead, not saying I'm just the smartest nigga or nothing like that, but it's always the latest drip, nigga, the, the latest swiping shit, the latest white collar, all that shit. The, really, the t-shirt the shit that I, I be spending don't even never go out of style anyway. That shit gonna work. Nigga, that shit gonna work when your kids is adults. You know what I'm saying? That shit been working since the 1920s. Oh, yeah. Shout out to all my fans, man. I love y'all, man. I love y'all with all my heart. I love y'all, man. Like I said, man, y'all the ones, man. Y'all keep a nigga going, man. Real motivation, you know what I'm saying? This shit real genuine love, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with y'all more than like all these industry rappers and shit like that. I'll probably do a song with a fan before an industry rapper, you know what I'm saying? Shit, why not? We don't give a fuck about none of these other niggas, man. It's us, fuck them, you know what I'm saying? That's how you got to think. It's us, fuck them. Why do we give a fuck about an the outsider? They not giving us no game. They not bringing us no check. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, man, keep that positive state of mind. I did. A, I put out a, um. I put out a song for y'all on one of my albums. Um, the song I put out a hook on. 
I let niggas do their thing on that motherfucker. Niggas distributed that shit and everything. I ain't got them stopping nigga motion or nothing like that. What made you what? What made you send Rollo money? Uh, Rollo, shit, Rollo the homie. Rollo really embraced me like a brother. It was love, you know what I'm saying? Then I kind of felt crazy because I was rapping about all that goddamn, you know, I was rapping about all the growing and goddamn all that extra shit going on and goddamn. We had a conversation one day. I ain't going to disclose that conversation, but, but Rollo treated a nigga like a brother, you know what I'm saying? So it's all love with bro, you know what I'm saying? Uh, some of my young niggas know some of his. We got a lot of mutual folks. Shit love. I sent I sent a few niggas money um when they was locked up. But if niggas don't show like mutual love when they get out, shit. I'm not finna go to the internet and put a nigga on blast, shit. I can just call a nigga phone, you know what I'm saying? Not saying shit. Some niggas can put that shit out on the internet. However a nigga feel like he can approach this situation, I ain't got no problem with You know what I'm saying? Niggas approach situations in different ways. You know what I'm saying? But now, nah, Rallo, we got a different type of relationship. I fuck with bro. And I fuck with all the ops. Like, I go, um... You know, I fuck with Muslims. I fuck with Christians. I fuck with Buddhists. A lot of niggas say that's flip-flopping because you practice all these religions, but I just go, when I go to somebody land or I go to somebody like who deep, I go practice they shit. That's what King Cyrus did. King Cyrus mixed his religion with, that was one of the greatest kings in history. He mixed his religion. When he went and took somewhere over, he mixed his religion with theirs. He didn't persecute them people because their religion was something different. So what I do is I go mix, when I go over here with the Muslims, guess what? I'm going to read the Quran and I'm going to see what they vibe is with their religion. When I'm over here with the Christians, I'm going to read the Bible, get the knowledge, see what they vibe is. When I'm over here with the Buddhists, it's the same thing. So I go fuck with everybody's religion, you know what I'm saying? And embrace it like it's mine. Because all that shit got knowledge in it. All that shit tell you how to live, you know what I'm saying? Just like what the Bible tell you, I posted that shit, you ain't supposed to tax your brother. A lot of these fuck niggas out here uh, uh, sell their partner a bag. They own partner and wax his ass. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you never supposed to tax your brother like that. Make your money, but you ain't supposed to take advantage of your people. You're supposed to take advantage of outsiders who ain't got nothing to do with your people. A lot of niggas fuck over their people and show love to outsiders. That's some lame shit. You get what I'm saying? The Bible, even the Bible tell you not to do that. I read, I read a lot of religious shit. It's a lot of knowledge in religion. I'm not just saying I'm a religious nigga like that. But I get knowledge from everywhere I can get knowledge from. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of niggas just out here clueless. That's why a lot of niggas broke. But they out here clueless. They lost in the South. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get game from everywhere on this planet that I go to. Every country I go to. Every hood I go to. Every suburb I go to. I'm, I'm soaking in game. You know what I'm saying? I ain't out here just existing. I'm really living. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. I was trying to read what you said. That motherfucker disappeared real quick. I, I don't know. Bitcoin could, I mean, uh, the market could do a little pullback. You feel me? So you might want to wait for a little pullback, but I ain't going to lie. Shit running up right now. Shit going stupid right now. Let me see how I'm um, sending this. Oh, here it go. All right, cool. Boom. Let me save this motherfucker. Screenshot this shit. This is my portfolio. These are the coins I got. That's that's my altcoin profile. I just had a small one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Seoul, go get some of their underlings. I'm going to go into AVAX, go get some of their underlings. 
Um, um, it's a few more gaming coins I gotta get, man. It's all kind of shit I gotta get, man. I gotta goddamn go out shopping. You feel me? Like, I'm trying to get this money for real, man. I need this money on. I need an ace out too, nigga. I need 10 million out of the market. You feel me? Like, I ain't finna play. I ain't got time for no bitches, no lazy ass niggas, man. Nigga, it's straight studio. It's straight studio. Straight to the crypto, nigga. Straight doing shows. Nigga, I ain't got free time for nothing. Give a fuck. Saying yes to everybody else was saying no to yourself. Remember that. All these niggas asking for favors but don't want to bring shit to the table. Tell them niggas no, man. Don't be afraid to say no. It's a book called The Power of No. Y'all go read that shit, man. Quit being nice to these niggas, man. You can't be friendly out this motherfucker, man. These niggas trying to use and abuse you. That's all niggas trying to do, man. Niggas ain't showing love for real, man. These niggas showing fake love, man. And they always keep it positive, nigga. You know you that nigga, you feel me? If you believe you that nigga, you gonna be that nigga. You know what I'm saying? All uh, that timid, weak ass shit, that shit ain't gonna get you nowhere in life. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pipe up on these folks, man. Go hit that gym, go lift some weights, man. Go study some shit and get some money. You know what I'm saying? Like, all these niggas who got down calling you lame for getting money, man, them niggas lame. Them broke niggas is lame. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck a broke nigga gonna call a, a rich nigga with morals lame? A broke nigga with no morals or ethics calling a rich nigga with morals and ethics lame. Come on now, where they do that at, man? Them niggas broke, man. They try to bring you down, man. Remember, misery loves company. Broke niggas hang in flocks, man. Remember that. They hang in big boy flocks. You feel me?